Hi. Hi, students. This is Dr. Badrinath, WHO, World Health Organization. Everybody knows nowadays, WHO. And main office was in the Geneva. Uh, that we know very well. The headquarters of WHO is present in the Geneva. Okay. Okay. That's a very important bit also. But if you see the background here, uh, there was a Delhi. Why this Delhi? Why I have kept Delhi? This is a red port. You can see background. It is a red port. Why I kept Delhi? One of the regional office, it was present in the Delhi. That point you have to keep in your mind. Regional office for the Asia. That I will explain you in the coming slides. Okay. And here, uh, WHO structure. What is the WHO? Uh, uh, very long introduction. That and all not required here. See the title very clearly. See the title. In the syllabus, they have given very clearly what is the WHO role in the Indian National Health Program. So we are studying various, we have so far number of health programs, national health programs we have studied. Okay. What is the WHO role in India? How WHO is helping the India? That is the concept. Okay. Yeah. Now we will start uh, the session. Yeah. We are studying a subject of uh, social and preventive pharmacy, also called a social and preventive medicine. Uh, it is important for all MBBS, BSc, nursing, okay, lab technicians, everybody, same syllabus, same syllabus. And this topic is a social health program. See here, social health program, role of WHO in Indian national program. That is the role. That's it. Okay, remaining at all, we are not uh, much studying about. So what are the points I have covered in this class is the, these are the points. And here you can see the official logo of uh, WHO, World Health Organization. Okay. And WHO introduction, brief only. Not much. Uh, it was pages, pages it comes, but not required for you. Okay. Uh, may not uh, this. WHO is introduction. WHO strategies. Four strategies are there. Keep in your mind. Strategies in helping to India. Four strategies enough. Uh, need not to be right more than that in regular exams. WHO contributions to the India. See, first one is the strategies. Four strategies are there. Second one is contributions to the India. Three contributions are there. That you will main contributions are there. Okay. And the transition. How see old India is now it is a new India. Old India, how in the health wise it is transformed. Transition takes place. Transformation takes place from old health system to the new health system. In that transition. WHO helped four types of transition, uh, four type of uh, helps in the transition of the India, old India to the new India. That and all we will cover. So four plus three plus four. That is a formula here. Okay. Right. See, WHO introduction. Uh, there was a big fighting with, uh, between the um, Trump, I think so. Trump and uh, WHO in the first corona itself and uh, WHO. Uh, Trump has completely stopped the funds to the WHO, okay, that everybody knows, Every, even media is also saying that, and after that WHO has uh, told that, no, you have to look back and you have to give, see, WHO, keep in your mind, WHO is not came from uh, sky or not came from another planet, WHO is a very small, most of the students are thinking that it is a very big organization, it is just office. It is organization. It's good only. I'm not uh, the saying, but what the always students are saying that uh, they are thinking WHO means World Health Organization means they are imagining in a, this one. It is, see, WHO, there is no funds in the WHO. All the countries has to sponsor to the WHO. Then only it can survive. In the first corona, there was, it suffered with the lack of the giving the salaries also. A number of newspapers also, even see all the newspapers like Deccan Herald, La Hindu, number of newspapers, not only in India, they explained that it was the situation of the WHO. So it is, WHO is a not fund generator. It is also taking the funds from the countries. Okay. See, uh, that point you have to keep in your mind. After the Biden when came, Again, there was a, some friendship was there, WHO, and he started releasing of the funds to the uh, WHO. Okay. So, World Health Organization, it is a uh, non-political. No politicians were involved. No non-political. It is uh, Don't think that is a political party or like that. Non-political health agency. Health agency. That's it. That's it. Health agency. Just it is just uh, founded by the United States. 
UK, Brazil, etc. And all the, the group of uh, countries they started at World Health Organization. Uh, they thought that if one organization is good, it gives a con information like that. They thought and they have established. Okay, uh, the headquarters. This is the main headquarter photo, direct photo. Okay, it was situated in the Geneva. Geneva, where it is in the it is Switzerland. So Geneva present in the Switzerland. Okay, Switzerland present in the here. See, it is a UK group. Okay, United Kingdom. Here you can see the US. But all the countries together, they started uh, with funds, funds only. Okay, it is an uh, intergovernmental organization. It works between the government to government. All mainly it tie ups with the health ministries, health ministries of India, health ministries of China, health ministry of US, health ministry like that. Through the health ministry only, it try to coordinate with that and it does its functions, whatever it may be. Okay. And the responsibilities to provide a leadership on global health matters. See here, to provide a leadership due to this only, the Trump has made uh, some comments on the WHO. Not it is not providing a leadership. It is mainly neglecting and it is showing some partiality like that. So many things are there, but we don't want to discuss that type of things here. Uh, to provide a leadership. On a global health matters, global health is very, very important because it is a world health organization, total world health, it has to look, uh, uh, setting the norms, what are the various norms and standards, uh, like a BP, how much, uh, what is a systolic BP, what is a diastolic, some norms it sets, not only in that diseases, in every diseases, it try to set some of the norms, shaping, shaping of the uh, research agenda, health research agenda, in which areas they have to focus like that it gives you some guidance it provides a technical support also it provides uh, to countries and monitoring the health trends okay see in india who introduction this is in india now we come to the india india this is a map and here you can find the delhi and here 1948 india become a part of the who after independence day immediately the next year the who has a six keep in your mind six regions are there in that one regional office is there in the Delhi, even not it is in China also. Okay, so in Asia region, the Delhi is the main head office. Okay, that is called a CRO. CRO, CRO is a Southeast Asian region office. It is called as a WHO office, CRO. Okay, CRO headquarters is present in the Delhi. CRO countries are all South uh, countries like India, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Indonesia, Korea, Maldives, like that number of all surrounding uh, etc. and all number of uh, things are there. These are the member countries of CRO. If they have any work, they have to contact to the WHO office, Delhi only. That is a regional office. If the regional office is having any doubt, it contacts with the headquarters. Okay. See, first CRO meeting was held in the Delhi. Meetings will be conducted in the CRO Delhi by Jawaharlal Nehru, the Prime Minister that time. Okay, that's why he, uh, he is a conductor. WHO has a total six regional offices. That point you have to keep in your mind. In that CRO is one. Okay, yeah. Now we will come to the strategies. Four strategies I have already told. What are these four strategies? How the WHO, which strategy is following to help the India? Means four strategies. Number one is uh, accelerate the progress progress accelerate means speed up speed up of the progress progress of what uhc universal health coverage see here universal health coverage like all ages all genders okay all professionals the universal health all must be come into the health. for example say implementing in the ayushman bharat ayushman bharat is our national mission ayushman bharat that no so who has helped the ayushman bharat so that uh, Aishman Bharat will go in deep, okay, like that, helping like a universal health coverage, okay, uh, implementation of the Aishman Bharat health and wellness centers, health and wellness centers of Aishman Bharat and hospital insurance schemes, either it is a governmental insurance or non-insurance, okay? it makes the people to educate, okay, and it has to be good. Health system strengthening, strengthening of the health system. How to strengthen the health system? Health system, keep in your mind. Health system means it is not what health staff, human resources, doctors, nurses, paramedical staff for health, information system. Okay, what are the information uh, like uh, communication system? 
and the quality of services services whatever doing it has to be good in such a fashion the strategy like that they have initially discussion these strategies i will help you like to india like that and improving the priority health services such as the immunization see keep in your mind immunization very very important improving the priority health services prior high prior now immunization is highly prior that everybody knows vaccination is very very important uh, that everybody you know and i know that's why high priority what are there immunization is there mental health is also important child health is also important tb is also important and hepatitis is also important these are the five concepts that they have come, uh, come under the high priority 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 okay next is digital health ecosystem eco friendly like the digital digitally how i am speaking through digital mode a digital system doctors will be telemedicine like tele prescription e prescription okay uh, tele like that eliminating the ntds ntd means neglected tropical diseases tropical diseases means endemic diseases endemic diseases means which is particular area only for example yellow fever yellow fever is particular to the africa country so it is not spread it is a continental to that africa and it is a disease of the tropical diseases it is a endemic disease okay it is like that so completely elimination of the ntd neglected tropical diseases first one elimination keep in your mind elimination and control next is control of vaccine preventable diseases like a corona vaccine preventable diseases and vector borne diseases like malaria through vector only it go like that this is a first acceleration progress on uhc okay all these points directly Uh, i have get from the official document of the who only right and who strategy to promote the health and wellness see here if you are doing a daily exercise okay like cycling or skipping you will be wellness you can do first class you need not to be depend on anybody you can do on your own okay full happy happy health is wealth nowadays promotion so who will promote the health and also who help the wellness by addressing the determination of the health it gives the speech it gives the some advertisement it is a well life ncd what is a ncd action plan roll out entity neglected tropical diseases environmental health environmental health that point you have to keep, keep in mind not only surrounding uh, environmental health also it has to be taken care okay ncd means here keep in your mind non communicable diseases here ntd means neglected tropical diseases that is a difference between the ncd non communicable diseases like a hypertension uh, bp uh, that is a bp sugar all these are the non communicable diseases or non communicable disorders okay environmental health uh, surrounding the environmental what is the ozone layer ozone layer who is uh, taking care of uh, that also some giving instructions to mental health promotion and the suicide prevention preventing a suicide it was the biggest achievement okay nutritional and food safety uh, who is awareing what is the nutritional list how much uh, who as per the who list how much vitamin a you have to take how much vitamin b you have to take how much vitamin c you have to take like that it has road safety very important road safety accidents it prevents the accidents tobacco control like who con uh, smoking control integrated ncd non communicable uh, diseases and environmental risk factors okay in uh, digital health digital health platform see in future and all it is going to be rock and third one is uh, better protect the population against the health emergencies health emergency comes so that better to protect the population Uh, how much so far who is implementing that we don't know okay but these are the strategies it is applying okay the uh, disease surveillance and outbreak detection and response including the ihr international health regulations roll out of idsp here i have mentioned we have already completed what is idsp integrated disease surveillance program ihip means uh, here you can see integrated health information platform so roll out of idsp using the real time ihp see this topic you can uh, it was there in my channel playlist there you can be go and watch it okay idsp what they are saying is roll out the idsp this roll out with the help of ihip so in the place of idsp they want to propose ihip 
okay real time this is a real time really this is a, it takes a very long time for, to get the information from the public whereas ihip it is a real time okay that's why it is called a real time and uh, preparedness for and response to all emergencies and the containment of uh, amr containment of amr amr means antimicrobial resistance and uh, enhance the india's fourth strategy global leadership in the health earth. india has become a global leadership india has to guide india is a leader in the health like the who is helping that was one of the strategy so india who is always favors the india so far it was favored okay india is also giving a funds a lot of funds to the who uh, every year okay or uh, twice year that as per their uh, this one okay enhance the india's global leadership that is also one of the globally see here globally india has to become one of the best like that okay and uh, contributions three contributions at a stretch i have mentioned here information very important uh, information it from the who is collecting the worldwide information and it is giving to the india that point you have to keep in your mind informing and helping the shape out the policy to shape the policies through evidence generation very important evidence has to generate simply without evidence I, this is not theory or this is not a thesis to tell something to uh, evidence generation must be there information sharing always uh, who is sharing that very good information which uh, whichever it is collecting from the countries and advocacy like uh, helping advocates like advocacy that word you can keep in your mind technical support it is giving capacity building like a doctors okay and a data system of the strengthening and on ground support for a specific and high priority programs in an emergency response it is giving who okay and uh, this is the last slide and uh, world india to new india transformation takes place mainly polio who has helped a lot uh, during the india to for uh, polio prevention and uh, gradually shifting from greater emphasis policy guidance to advocacy okay uh, and the third one is increased focus on social behavior mental behavior that is very very important india is transformed a lot with the help of who environmental determinants also mm, uh, okay so i will end my session here all these you can be take screenshots okay as a notes so i will stop my uh, session